Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 2022 HSC First in Course Ceremony. We are about to share a beautiful moment together. My name is Tom Tilley. I'm a radio and television journalist, and I have the absolute pleasure of being your host today. So thank you for having me. To get things started, I'd like to invite Auntie Maxine Ryan to give us a welcome to country. Make her feel welcome. Well, good morning, everybody. My name's Annie Maxine Ryan, and I'm an elder from the uh, Botany Bay community, uh, and I belong to the Durrawal people, but I would like to acknowledge Bidjigal and the Gadjigal clan, the land we're meeting on today. And I would like to acknowledge my elders, past and present, and those emerging, and any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people that are with us today. I would like to acknowledge my elders for looking after this beautiful land and my ancestors as we have survived on this land for thousands of years and we can keep on surviving. And because I work in schools, I like to acknowledge the younger generation on all the learning that they do and welcome all their cultures into Australia too. We must welcome everybody's culture to Australia as if we don't, how they're going to learn, how they're going to learn how to look after this beautiful land, not just the land, the waters too. I'm a salt water girl, so I survived from um, salt water. Uh, I lived out La Perouse on the mission. Uh, so for those who don't know what a mission was, it was uh, run by the uh, church people, white people. So, you know, we was under the protection board, but we were rich. My family was rich because I had a loving mum and dad who made it rich. All the time, all the love they gave us. We didn't have to have the dollar signs to be rich. We was just rich in family ways. So I, al I always thank my um, parents for bringing me up this way and acknowledge that the land is very important to my people and the sea is very important to my people. As we keep on, you know, taking our journeys on this land, and I wish all the young generation all the best on the journeys that they take on this, on this land, as this land is Aboriginal land, always was, always will be. So I wish you all the best and congratulations on all that you've achieved. And remember, please join me in looking after this beautiful land as we can all keep on surviving for another 60,000 years. So I thank you and welcome and I hope you have a lovely break and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much for that warm welcome, Arnie Maxine. All right, now we're going to hear from the Premier, the Honourable Dominic Perrottet. Hi, New South Wales Premier Don Perrottet here. Congratulations to you all on a phenomenal result. Topping a course in the 2022 HSC is an exceptional achievement. Completing a HSC and 13 years of schooling is a big life moment. But to have committed so wholeheartedly to your studies that you've topped a course is truly remarkable. I hope you are very proud of your hard-won success. I know your families, teachers and schools will shout your results from the rooftops as they should. Your senior school years have had some challenges and some of you would face the extra difficulty of attending schools impacted by major flood events this year. So it's inspiring to see your resilience and perseverance rewarded with the top result you have worked so hard for. Minister Mitchell will have more to say about these impressive schools a little later. Just over 67,000 students completed the HSC this year and another 8,000 studied one or more HSC courses. These numbers highlight how hard you've worked to achieve a first place among such an enormous group of students. You are set for success. Your school days are over now and while you'll give yourself a well-deserved pat on the back, take time to consider that this is not the end, it's just the beginning. You have the best launch pad for a very bright future. Whether you join the workforce 
or go on to vocational training or tertiary studies, your HSC skills will set you up for success on any path you choose. I look forward to seeing the great things that you and the whole class of 2022 achieve beyond your schooling years. Congratulations once again and all the very best for your next adventures. Thank you very much to the Premier for that message. Um, honourable mentions and welcomes today do go to the Education Minister, the Honourable Sarah Mitchell, who Dominic Perrottet just mentioned. Sitting next to her is the Executive Director of School and Teaching Standards at NESA, Ms Lynn Kirby. And I'd also like to welcome Jeff Newcomb, AM, from the Association of Independent Schools, Danielle Cronin from Catholic Schools New South Wales, and Georgina Harrison from the New South Wales Department of Education. And I'd also like to thank you for having me as your host today. When I got the call up for this, this event, I was really excited because I remember what a special time in my life this was. I was also a little bit daunted because I did wonder what value or what message I could add to a room full of students who are probably a lot smarter than me. Now, <laughs> it actually feels like yesterday that I walked out of my last HSC exam. I was a skinny, freckle-faced kid from Mudgee High School with no idea what would come next in life. And after that point, there were a lot of twists and turns. It wasn't easy, but life has taken me to some amazing places. I've managed to build a career as a radio and TV journalist. I've hosted shows on Triple M, Triple J, the ABC, 10, Channel 9, interviewed Prime Ministers, Sir David Attenborough, and even published a book. But inside, I still feel like that nervous little country boy from Mudgee that just finished his exams. I know at this stage you hear a lot of advice about what to do next and how to approach the future. I just wanted to spend one minute talking about the now and the important act of celebration. I mean, look around you right now. Look at the person next to you. Look at the person in front of you. That person is the undisputed champion of their favourite subject, and so are you. It's amazing. It's an incredible achievement. And I think celebrating is an underrated skill and is sometimes particularly hard for high achievers. We naturally want to jump onto the next challenge. It's a basic human survival instinct that we scan our environment for the next big threat. We focus on what's wrong, what we can fix, what we can achieve. But this moment of finishing your HSC is so important. This short window between the exams and what comes next is a beautiful time to stop and celebrate. I remember it. The lights came up at the school formal. We'd finished the last slow dance. The painful memory of all that study in the exams is starting to fade into the dust. But for me, the question marks about the future started to arise almost too quickly, wondering what I was going to do how I would build a career, make money, whether I'd ever make friends like I did in high school. The thing is, if we let our natural survival instinct take over, we end up jumping from one challenge straight into the next one. We stay in attack mode, focused on the difficulties ahead, not on the mountains of achievements behind us and all the lessons we've learned. So to celebrate, it means to stop, to free yourself from the pressure of the next big challenge to take in the view, to process how far you've come and all the amazing things you've learned along the way. Celebrating properly, it also allows us to connect with the joy and the satisfaction of what we've done. And that, that helps build a reservoir of inspiration and motivation that you'll draw on in the future when you face your next big challenge. So this is your moment, guys, to take a break and to celebrate. You are the undisputed champions of your favourite subject. And that's pretty cool. So give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> On that note of celebration, I'd like to introduce the Minister for Education, Sarah Mitchell. Thank you. Uh, thank Tom. Thanks, Tom. Uh, I also, of course, just want to begin by acknowledging country and pay my respect to elders past, 
present and emerging and extend that respect to any Aboriginal people who might be here with us today. And uh, a big thank you to Arnie Maxine for her lovely warm welcome. Uh, thank you also, Tom, for agreeing to be our MC. Uh, it's interesting when you say that you were a scared, nervous kid at Mudgee High. I was a scared, nervous kid at Gunnedah High, not far up the road from you. Probably a little bit, little bit before you, I think. But um, I, I think Mudgee High has served you well because you've obviously gone on to do great things. Uh, a big welcome to all of our students, our families, our teachers, our special guests who are here, everyone joining us online, uh, but especially welcome to, to you, our first in course winners who are here to celebrate today. Uh, it's such a fantastic achievement and, and we're really proud of each and every one of you for what you've been able to achieve and hopefully that this is a, a really special day for all of you that you remember forever. Uh, I think it's important to make the point that for everyone, not just those who we celebrate today with first in course, but for all of the class of 2022, uh, you have overcome such a lot to make it to, to this stage. And I know that as adults, we've been saying that to you for the last few years, but you shouldn't underestimate uh, the incredible resilience and strength that you've all shown, whether it's making it through a global pandemic, uh, the natural disasters that so many of our school communities across the state have faced over the last few years, but also on, on a more local or personal level. You know, the HSE is really hard. It, it's hard for everybody. It's not a smooth journey for anyone. And to be able to do it, to finish it, is such an achievement. And we want to celebrate that today. Uh, and in particular, celebrate those who have been able to achieve first in course. Uh, so a few stats. Please don't correct me, those who came first in maths. Um, but what I have so far, we've got 126 students who will receive 135 certificates for achieving first or equal first in an HSC course. Nine of you have managed to top two courses which is just incredible. Uh, and we have students from 83 schools across New South Wales here today, from Moama to Orange, uh, all sectors are represented in all school communities. So a big congratulations to each and every one of you. I have to say, one of the most enjoyable parts of my job as Education Minister is getting to call a few students who achieve that first in course. And I've been able to do that for the last four years. And I have to say, I'm always really impressed because whichever students I get the opportunity to speak to, they're all really surprised and can't quite believe that they're the ones who've managed to, to come first. Um, so I won't embarrass you, but to, to Lara, uh, to, to Tom and to Rebecca, who I had the chance to speak to this year, uh, thank you for taking my call on a Saturday morning. Most teenagers probably wouldn't answer a number that they weren't expecting. So uh, well done for being uh, you know, awake and functioning and able to speak to me on a weekend. Um, but we're all just super proud of you. And I think each and every one of you were, was really humble that, that you had come first. And I know that that's the case uh, for all 126 of you. Uh, so finally, can I just say a big thank you uh, to your school communities who've supported you, your, your teachers, your principals, your families, many of whom are here today to celebrate with you. It really is a team effort to get through the HSE and I know that uh, none of what you've achieved would have been possible without really great people in your lives who've supported you. So uh, a big shout out to the friends, supporters, the teachers and principals who have also contributed to these amazing young people who we celebrate today. Um, so I'll stop there. I think it's about celebrating the kids not hearing from politicians, but thank you so much for the opportunity and the privilege to be here. Well done once again, and we look forward to celebrating your success. Thank you. Thank you so much, Minister Mitchell. So we're going to get into it. We're going to read out the courses in alphabetical order, followed by the students' names or names when there's been joint equal winners. Um, most of our students are here today but I know that some of the Italian students have already gone to Italy, so they might be watching via the live stream. For anyone who's not here, we'll have their picture up on the screen so we can celebrate them for their amazing achievements. All right, let's do this. First, in Aboriginal studies, well, there's two winners here. Equal first, Santina Costanzo from St. Celastica's College. along with Alexia Rigoni from Camaragal High School. In Agriculture, Faiz Karim, James Roos Agricultural High School. In Ancient History, Bonnie Joseph from St Vincent's College. 
Bonnie couldn't make it today, but I understand that her grandmother is in the audience, so congratulations to you on your granddaughter. Arabic continuers, Ahmed Muhammad Al Dawood from Al Faisal College. And I believe that Ahmed's brother and uncle are in the audience today, but he couldn't make it, so congratulations to his family. Arabic extension, Danny Nusser, Secondary College of Languages, Birong Girls Campus. <laughs> Armenian continuers, Vati Gabarabay, Golston College. And first in automotive examination, Declan Slattery, North Coast Institute, Coffs Harbour Education Campus. <laughs> Biology, Zane Simmons, Mariah College. <laughs> Business Services Examination, Sarah Mikari, Beverly Hills Girls High School. In business studies, Lara Elizabeth Chamberlain, Abbotsley. Chemistry, equal first in course, Lachlan Harris, Cranbrook High School. Kevin Wang, The King School. In Chinese and Literature, Jiwa Lan, Secondary College of Languages, Strathfield Girls Campus. Chinese Beginners, Irene Tan, New South Wales School of Languages. Chinese continuers, Brendan Chu, Sydney Grammar School. <laughs> Chinese extension, Margot Harris, New South Wales School of Languages. Chinese in context, Janissa Tang, Abbotsley. And Janissa's in Hong Kong, but her grandparents are here today, so congratulations to you. Classical Greek continuers and Classical Greek extension, Thomas Henderson, Sydney Grammar School. Classical Hebrew continuers, Shira Dayden, Kessa Torah College. And her parents are in the audience today, so congratulations, Mum and Dad. Classical Hebrew extension, Samuel Sterling, Mariah College. <laughs> Community and Family Studies, equal first in course goes to Wenny Fan. Concord High School. <laughs> Along with Joanna Owusu, St Andrews College. <laughs> and Samara Grace Payne, St Francis Xavier's College. Construction examination, equal first in course, goes to Joseph Charbel Chaltier, St. Patrick's College, Strathfield. <laughs> and Julian L. Bazzuni, 
Maronite College of the Holy Family. <laughs> Croatian Continuers, Clara Medanic, Secondary College of Languages, Liverpool Boys Campus. Dance, Stella Grace Sweeney Mackenzie, Northern Beaches Secondary College, McKellar Girls Campus. <laughs> Design and Technology, Equal First in Course, Emma Briand, King Koppel Rose Bay School of the Sacred Heart. and Will McCubrey, St Joseph's Regional College, Port Macquarie. <laughs> Drama, Luke Sindon, Cranbrook School. <laughs> Dutch Continuers, Elizabeth Ariana Johanna Lassing, Outside Tudor. Earth and Environmental Science, Equal First in Course. Lara White, Newcastle High. <laughs> and Ellen Watkin, Oxley College. <laughs> in Economics, Yo Yoffe, Borkham Hills High. <laughs> Electro Technology Examination, Toby Maroulis, Northern Sydney Institute, Meadowbank College. Engineering Studies, Angus Stewart, Normanhurst Boys High School. <laughs> English Advanced, Chloe Hoang, Pimble Ladies College. <laughs> English EALD, Jiwa Lan, St Catherine's School. English Extension 1, Otilia Pilat, Our Lady of Sacred Heart College. <laughs> English Extension 2, Tyler Kang, Newington College. <laughs> English Standard, Zane Ballad, Alpha Omega Senior College. <laughs> Entertainment Industry Examination, Jack Talty, Oak Hill College. <laughs> Filipino Continuous. Yana Sandara Aquino, Secondary College of Languages, Bankstown Girls Campus. <laughs> Orlando Kennard, One School Global New South Wales, Maitland. <laughs> Food Technology, Equal First in Course, Katerina Chalfar, Good Samaritan Catholic College. Anique Compton, Cronulla High School. <laughs> Lillian Shelley Jenkins, Meriden High School. <laughs> French Beginners, 
Maya Zofia Weiss, Hornsby Girls High School. <laughs> French continuers, Lucia Pilgrim, Xavier College, Ballina. <laughs> French extension, Emma Guinal Briand, King Coppel, Rose Bay School of the Sacred Heart. Geography, Sunny Chen, Normanhurst Boys High School. <laughs> German Beginners, Julian Zog, New South Wales School of Languages. <laughs> German Continuers, Benjamin Clark, New South Wales School of Languages. German extension, extension, Jonas Meyer, International Grammar School. <laughs> Hindi continuers, Sharavi Kulkani, outside tutor. <laughs> History extension, Gus Stephen, St. Augustine's College, Sydney. <laughs> Hospitality examination, Hannah Jade Campbell, Tara Anglican School for Girls. <laughs> Human Services examination, Taylor Hilden Butel, Western Institute, Orange Campus. Hungarian continuers, Yvette Dubayez, outside tutor. <laughs> Indonesian and literature, Putu Jayangani, New South Wales School of Languages, Petersham. <laughs> Indonesian beginners, Toby Hill, Camden Haven High School Distance Education Centre, Lauriton. <laughs> Indonesian continuers, Nicholas Andrew Friedman, Glenwood High School. <laughs> Indonesian extension, Rory Lee Clements, MacArthur Anglican School. <laughs> Industrial Technology, Helen Edwards, Emmanuel Anglican College. <laughs> Information and Digital Technology Examination, Joshua Phillips, Cath West Innovation College. <laughs> Information Processes and Technology. Mary Jane Wooten, Redham House. <laughs> Investigating Science. Equal first goes to Daniel Michael, Clancy Catholic College. Also first in investigating science, Rebecca Owens, Gosford High School. <laughs> Italian beginners, Emma Duggan, Pimble Ladies College. <laughs> Italian continuers, equal first in course goes to Ava Piazza. New South Wales School of Languages. <laughs> and Annalise Leslie Reynolds Pace, Surden College.
Italian Extension, Annalise Leslie Reynolds Pace, Surden College. <laughs> Japanese Beginners, Yujia Yu, Meriden School. <laughs> Japanese Continuers, Teresa Jin Yang Lee, Hornsby, School, Hornsby Girls College. Japanese Extension, Chris Tao Lin, North Sydney Boys High School. <laughs> Japanese in Context, Ryo Hosegawa, Secondary College of Languages, Chatswood. <laughs> Khmer Continuers, Nido Kim Hong Vong. Secondary College of Languages, Liverpool Girls Campus. <laughs> Korean and Literature, Che Yon Park, Secondary College of Languages, Strathfield. <laughs> Korean Beginners, Equal First goes to Nandini Kari, Borkham Hills High School. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> My apologies. And now we have Jareeth Rasu from Hurlston Agricultural High School. And Korean continuers, Sophia Annabelle Tosley, New South Wales School of Languages. Korean in context, Suman Lee, Strathfield Girls High School. And Latin continuers, Eleanor Barbara McIver, Sydney Girls High. <laughs> Latin Extension, Charles Rachia, Barker College. <laughs> Legal Studies, Tom Verco, Barker College. Macedonian Continuers, Verica Minovska, Secondary College of Languages, Bankstown Girls Campus. <laughs> Mathematics Advanced, Equal First in Course goes to Jack Breesley, St Francis Xavier's College. and Matthew Etow, Oxford Falls Grammar School. <laughs> Along with Daniel Wang, Borkham Hills High School. <laughs> Mathematics Extension 1, Leah Ruin, Cherrybrook Technology High School. Mathematics Extension 2, Kevin Wang, The King's School. <laughs> Mathematics Standard 1 Examination, Equal First, goes to Brooke Hughes, Gilroy Catholic College. <laughs> and Liana Zarafa. Gilroy Catholic College. <laughs> Mathematics Standard 2, equal first in place, Mario Baroud, Maris College, Cogra. <laughs> and Yosef Humaydouche. Malak Fayed Islamic School. <laughs> Modern Greek Beginners, Anna Marie Parasas, 
New South Wales School of Languages. Modern Greek Continuous and Modern Greek Extension, Anagos Anethmu, Kalos Secondary College of Languages, Asheville Boys Campus. <laughs> Modern Hebrew Continuous, Tama Fladaman, Outside Tudor. Modern History, Joanna Kong, Barker College. <laughs> Music One, Equal First in Course, William Castle, Baron Joey High School. <laughs> and Lucy O'Brien, Newcastle Grammar School. Music two, equal first in course. Stella Yasmin Constable, Loretto Kirabili. <laughs> Along with Eunice Yutong Tai, Meriden School. <laughs> and Eunice also was first in course in music extension. Persian Continuers, Syed Komiya Hosayan Salkare, Outside Tudor. <laughs> Personal Development, Health and Physical Education, Mia Young, Loretto Kirabili. <laughs> Physics, Lachlan Harris, Cranbrook. Polish Continuous, Marta Gotakwa, Secondary College of Languages, Ashfield Boys Campus. <laughs> Portuguese Continuous, Daphne Kulakowski, New South Wales School of Languages. <laughs> Primary Industries Examination, Ella McRae, Red Bend Catholic College. Punjabi Continuers, Ayeshwa Singh Verk, Secondary College of Languages, The Hills Sports Campus. <laughs> Retail Services Examination, Sophia Gately, Mount St. Benedict College. <laughs> Russian Continuers, Anna Ivanova, New South Wales School of Languages. <laughs> Science Extension, Shirley Lisa Wang, Meriden School. <laughs> Serbian Continuers, Tijana Jovic, Secondary College of Languages, Liverpool Girls Campus. Society and Culture, Sing Hui Ong, Australian International School, Malaysia. <laughs> Software Design and Development, Caleb Liu, Borkham Hills High School. <laughs> Spanish Beginners, Jacinta Shihata, Meriden School. Spanish Continuers, Isabella Rabina, International Grammar School. <laughs> Spanish, 
Spanish extension Elsa Susanjara, New South Wales School of Languages. <laughs> Studies of Religion 1, Susie Coates, Mary MacKillop Catholic College. <laughs> Studies of Religion 2, Alyssa Chaya, St. Vincent's College. <laughs> Swedish continuers, Liam Johansson, outside Tudor. <laughs> Tamil continuers, Mahati Ramasubramian, outside Tudor. Textiles and Design, Tamara McKeon, Engadine High School. <laughs> Tourism, Travel and Events Examination, Brody Jardine, Moama Anglican Grammar School. <laughs> Turkish Continuers, Equal First in Course, Hani Kokodag, Amity College, Prestons. <laughs> and Sweda Ogulu, Amity College, Prestons. <laughs> Vietnamese continuers, Nat Van V. Lu, Secondary College of Languages, Liverpool Boys Campus. And our final subject, visual arts, equal first in course, Mia Drummond Young, Loretto Kirribilli. <laughs> and Holly Husserini, Winona School. <laughs> and Tom Buckinghamshum, Taramara High School. All right, let's give everyone a huge round of applause, all of our equal first in course. All right, incredible. Let's get to the second big part of today's proceedings. And for that, I'd like to hand over to the Executive Director of School and Teaching Standards at the New South Wales Education Standards Authority, Lynn Kirby. Thank you, Tom. Um, obviously, I'll also um, add my congratulations to all of the students here this morning. Very well done to each of you. Um, and also, I'll acknowledge that um, I'm joining you today on Gadigal land and acknowledge Elders past, present and emerging and any Aboriginal people with us today. Um, I'd like to also acknowledge the Premier and acknowledge the Minister for taking part in today's event. Your involvement in First In Course um, really uh, affirms the importance and the value of these students' achievements, so a very warm thank you from us all. Completing the higher school certificate is no mean feat for any student. The HSC is a valuable credential which will open doors for many of you. And to come first in your course is something outstanding to be very, very proud of. As well as managing your HSC this year, many of you have faced enormous challenges in trying to um, continue your studies amidst, amidst record flooding in New South Wales. The CEO of Nessa, Paul Martin, had the privilege of visiting several of your communities during this year, which really had endured real devastation due to the floods, and in many cases continue to do so. He shared with us his immense admiration for those strong and resilient communities who supported schools in all manner of ways, providing practical emergency support to school families and staff or supporting other schools by taking on some students 
uh, and also ensuring that those students were able to complete their HSC to the best of their abilities to show what they could do. It was truly heartening to hear about the ways that students continued learning, working on their projects and preparing for exams, despite the most extraordinary circumstances they found themselves in. All of us at Nessa want to take this opportunity to commend schools in flood affected regions for your outstanding efforts in supporting students despite the enormous challenges thrown at you during 2022. On that note, we move to the second part of today's proceedings, the Minister's Special Commendation Awards. Um, and I'd now like to welcome back the Minister for Education, Sarah Mitchell. Thank you. Um, thank you, Lynn. Uh, well, obviously now I have the absolute privilege of telling you all about uh, a new award that we've decided to introduce to the event this year. And what we will be doing is recognising the incredible resilience of 14 schools from right across New South Wales who were impacted by flooding events. Um, much like Paul Martin, I've had the opportunity to visit a number of these schools uh, over the last 12 months. I've gotten to know the, the principals, the staff and the students. And we've just been absolutely blown away by how well these schools have supported their students, uh, not just when it comes to the teaching and learning happening, but the mental health, the wellbeing. Uh, it really is remarkable. So in the same way that today we of course honour and acknowledge our students who came first in course, we also want to recognise the incredible schools as part of these awards today. Uh, the efforts that you've all made to support your students, your staff, uh, and in some cases your entire community by coordinating efforts like the distribution of meals, of clothing and other donations. It's truly remarkable and I think shows once again how often our schools are the centre of our communities. Uh, at the same time, of course, as, as leaders, as principals and as teachers, you also worked really hard to make sure that your students had all the support that they needed and particularly, I know, those preparing for the HSC were always top of mind. Um, so congratulations to each and every one of you. As I said, the principals, the teachers, the students, the school community, communities. Your efforts are amazing and deserve to be recognised here today, uh, not just on behalf of myself as the Minister, but for all people in New South Wales. We want to show you how proud we are of what you've been able to achieve uh, and how you've been able to overcome just extraordinary adversity. So it's a real pri privilege and a pleasure now to be able to present uh, our principals and student leaders from these schools with a certificate to acknowledge their resilience and their commitment to education. Okay, so each school's principal or senior staff, along with their school captains for this year, are here to accept the award on behalf of the school. So first up, please congratulate Bede Polding College, South Windsor. Next, Casino Christian School. Next up, Emmanuel Anglican College, Ballina. And they couldn't be here today, but they are watching the live stream, so congratulations to you all. Our next award goes to Evans River Community School, Evans Head. And our next award goes to Mullumbimby High School.
And our next award goes to Richmond Christian College, Ballina. And the Rivers Secondary College, Kadena Campus. And there's also an award for the River Secondary College, Lismore Campus. And the Richmond River Campus. Our next award goes to St John's College, Woodlawn. And congratulations to Sathya Sai College, Mwilimbar. And congratulations to Summerland Chrisman College, Ganelabar. <laughs> and Trinity Catholic College, Lismore. Uh, this is Summerland. Congratulations, Summerlin Christian College. Our next award goes to Trinity Catholic College, Lismore. Yeah. And our final schools award goes to Xavier College, Ballina, Skinner's Head. <laughs> all right, a big round of applause to all of our schools. Thank you very much, Minister Mitchell, and to you, Lynn. Well, that brings us to the close of this incredible moment of celebration. I hope that you all have the most amazing summer, free from the pressure of year 12, pushing out the pressures of the future so that you can have the most magical time. Thank you so much for coming today and congratulations. And thanks to everyone who's joined us on the live stream from around the world and all of our supportive parents, teachers, and everyone who works in the education system. Thank you very much.